What's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing seat covers for the truck. They're going to be a bench seat and we're literally starting from scratch. So right here I have the sewing machine, which I have absolutely no clue on how to use these. I mean, I've used them before several years ago. Uh, I tried to refresh my memory and literally a shirt is tangled in there at the moment. So I've got some practice that I got to do off camera, but if you guys watched the last video, you've seen that we got the truck to this point where we got the steps all welded up and everything. The sound deadening is put in there and now we were supposed to get the carpet in yesterday. It didn't come in. So today without wasting time, we're going to go ahead and start on this bench seat. So most of you guys don't know my background, but it definitely was not in upholstery. I'll tell you that I have never tried this stuff ever. So this is my very first time doing it. I've watched several videos. I am literally starting with the owner's manual and this gigantic roll. I think we have enough material. This is literally just a guesstimation of what we would need. Again, if this fails horribly, then there will be a really funny picture right now. If not, then there'll be a good looking picture show up right now. Okay, so this is the underneath of the bottom part of the seat. And as you can see, we've got our mounts here and all these springs and wires in here. So first we have to go around and there's some hog rings on there. We're just going to clip off and take the old wrap off to make it easier on me. I'm literally just going to duplicate the exact same thing. That way I can take this stuff off. I'm going to cut each of these little panels out and then I'm going to lay them out on the floor, trace them onto the new stuff. And then that way we can just sew them up. I do believe I'm going to start with the seat back though, because that looks a lot simpler to sew than this base does. So we're going to start there. I'm going to try to put some pleats in it as well. So again, just going 100% off of YouTube videos and reading a lot of articles and stuff. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but it looks like the person who had this before me who restored it literally spray painted the seat. So I'm guessing that this is the factory, looks like it was black, and they just spray painted it white. And it looks like they've spray painted other colors, but yeah. Okay, so I've got that cleaned up as much as possible. We're not gonna worry about switching that stuff out. I'm just gonna clean it really well, hit it with a wire brush, and it's really intact. Um, it does kind of smell a little bit, so we're just gonna clean it up. Okay, so to understand how we're going to sew all this together, we have to figure out how this is all situated. Since I'm starting out, I want to try to hide all of the stitches that I can. Um, so that way, whenever we go to sew, sew the panels face to face. So that way, whenever I fold them out, the stitches are hidden inside the fabric. So, so you have a couple options. You can either measure and then lay everything out onto the material that you have, or you can just cut everything apart and then lay it on top of the material that you have. Um, but I'm still trying to figure out which colors I want where and everything. So. Uh, for right now, let's go ahead and take these panels apart, lay them all out separately. Also, if you look along the edge here, there's a wire that is sewn in there. You can do that or you could hammer in the little rings, um, but you definitely don't want to do that without some kind of sturdier edge here because if not, it's obviously just going to rip. So for right now, let's just take these apart. I want the entire thing to be blue. Uh, with the exception of one or two inserts that are all vertically pleated. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and try to figure out how we're gonna lay that out. Okay, so I think that this is the pattern we're going for here. So these panels will be blue. These center panels will be vertically pleated white. It's gonna be a blue panel in the center. Again, white vertical pleats. And then the sides, which are right here, are gonna be blue. So. We're going to start by vertically pleating these. I've got the measurements up here. Um, remember, I'm not chip foose, so that doesn't look good at all, but. Okay, so we've got both of the pleated panels for the top piece completed. And then we have a 
strip that's going up the middle, it's going to be six inches. So we got to get a piece of blue to put here in the middle. Basically, we're going to lay those vinyl side to vinyl side. So a seam all the way up the inside. Okay, so I've got that sewn in there. So far, it's looking pretty good. And then we have to just do the sides here, the top, and then the sides right over here. So we're going to keep working. We're going to start on this top panel because that's one stitch all the way across and then we'll do each side. Now we've got to make these side panels and the panels over here on this side and then we'll have to go through and sew a wire along the bottom of here that way you can use hog rings which are pretty much little staples that will secure the wire to the springs back here so um, and then we're cutting this oversized because we're going to go in here and add foam to this and build the back of the seat up sewn together now now as you can see on the edge i've marked where the edge of this line is so there's gonna be another seam on the edge of this it'll just help form it around this corner more so i've got that marked on the underneath there there's no reason to stretch this thing really tight before you make the mark on that end because we're going to be filling this up with foam so if you stretch it really tight then you won't have room for foam and since this has a little bit of slack in it it'll allow us to add foam in later so that's kind of the idea. I don't know if that's correct or not, but we'll find out. So basically we're just gonna take this, we're gonna lay it on top of the blue material over there, trim it out, and then make sure that you mark wherever your stitch is going to be along this side. And then you're just going to sew that to that marked underneath there. So the next step is just to put some glue on this foam. This is just like a two inch piece of foam. It's rolled up and it's a perfect fit for the back of this. So we're gonna go ahead and stick it on and then we'll trim it up later. You want a little bit hanging over the edge, that way you can roll it in and you don't feel any sharp edges. So, so this is Super 77. I've used this stuff before on the headliner for the Nova. It worked really good. So we're gonna spray it on both contacting surfaces, which is just gonna be the back of the seat and then the foam. So. So now pretty much you just give it a couple minutes. Both sides will tack up. You'll be able to just feel it and feel that it's sticky. And then we're going to lay this down, make sure it's centered, and then press it down on there. Now, basically what I'm doing along the bottom here is there's a little wire that I'm running all the way around the bottom. I'm folding it up. You can staple it in there, sew it in there. So the wire is in there just simply because the hog ring will go around the wire and it'll prevent the material from ripping because you're going around the hog ring and the material instead of just the material and then every time it moves a little bit it's going to tear so we are just stapling it in there with some upholstery staples so yeah we're just going to keep moving along okay guys it's two in the morning i'm getting tired we're gonna wrap it up for now. But for the most part, this doesn't look too bad, but we're gonna call it a night and get back to it in the morning.
Okay, we are actually done. So I've got it just temporarily put in there. Just see what's going to look. And the trash bags are just to kind of give it a black floor because the carpet's going to be black. So I wanted to kind of get an idea of what this was going to look like with the white dash. Obviously, ignore the red door. Um, so yeah, what good is a seat without sitting in it? So let's get in. Okay, so for a guy that absolutely knew nothing about any of this stuff, this is actually pretty good. Uh, there's a couple trouble spots here and there. It's not, you know, like an upholstery company type quality. But if you knew how this was before I redid it, it was very, very, very rough. And now there's plenty of cushion. It's really tight wrap. If I'm being completely transparent, the only spot that I am not super happy with is down here. But again, you know, I could probably go in there and tighten some of that up. But once it wears too, it's gonna stretch. And then if I have to, I just cut those hog rings, tighten it up a little bit more. I did get a hold of the carpet company that I ordered the carpet from and they said that they're like 20 days behind. So for right now, the story is that everybody got stimulus checks and apparently a lot of people are buying automotive carpet. It's, it's weird. Anyways, for a first timer, I'm uh, pretty happy with it and it's actually really comfortable too. I'm so ready to drive this thing. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to it, share it with people, and give this kind of stuff a try because if I was to contract this stuff out, who knows how much it would have cost. Yes, it probably would have came out better, but for next to nothing, I just reupholstered my seats, the exact color that I want, the exact pattern that I wanted, and I'm very happy with it. So all I had to do was learn how to use a sewing machine and I didn't sew my finger to the machine, so we're good. So I'd say overall with the fabric and stuff, you're looking at probably $70, 60 or $70. With the two inches of foam that I put on the back and the bottom, that was about 50 bucks. So brings you about a total of 125. This is much cheaper than if you compare it to one of the normal seat covers that you can get off like LMC truck, because that doesn't include the foam and everything to rebuild the seat. If your seats are in worse condition than mine, then you obviously will have to pay money to get those materials as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.